Hello everyone, welcome to Finance Wisdom channel. If you're new to this channel, do like and subscribe to the channel. In this video, we will talk about but many habits to break. We all know that we should be good with money, but not everyone is doing it. We need to break bad money habits, from mindlessly spending to racking up debt. These habits can ruin our finances and leave us in a tough spot. But breaking bad habits is tough, especially when it comes to money. We've compiled a list of some of the most common bad money habits along with tips on what you can do to them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this video. The first bad money habit you need to break is not saving money. If you want to get on the path to financial security, there is no better place to start than breaking bad money habits. One of the most common and damaging lousy money habits is failing to save money. When you don't save regularly, you miss out on opportunities to grow your wealth and prepare for unexpected expenses. Worse, if you only save when you have extra money, you're likely to live paycheck to paycheck. The key to breaking this bad habit is to make saving a priority. One of the most important things you can do is make saving automatic. Set up a direct deposit from your paycheck into a savings account or have a certain amount transferred from your checking account each month. You'll never even see the money and won't be tempted to spend it. Another critical tip is to make sure your savings goal is realistic. Start small and increase the amount as you get closer to your destination. If you're trying to save too much too quickly, you're likely to get discouraged and give up altogether. Finally, remember that there will be setbacks along the way. Don't beat yourself up if you have to dip into your savings for an unexpected expense. Just get back on track as soon as possible and keep working towards your goal. Remember, breaking any bad habit is taking small steps and being persistent. Second, mindless spending. We've all been there. We see something shiny and new and we have to have it. Whether it's the latest gadget, a designer handbag, or tickets to a sold-out concert, we can't resist the urge to splurge. But what is it about certain things that make them so irresistible? And more importantly, how can we break the cycle of mindless spending? Experts say that breaking any bad habit is to becoming aware of your triggers. It may be boredom or stress that leads some people to reach for their credit cards. It may be peer pressure or a need for instant gratification for others. Once you know what your triggers are, you can start to work on avoiding them. If you find yourself mindlessly spending money, try these tips. Make a list of needs versus wants. This will help you to focus on only buying what you need. Stick to a budget. Know how much money you can realistically afford to spend in a month, and then stick to it. Delay purchases. If you see something you want, wait 24 hours before buying it. This will help you to avoid impulsive buys. By being more aware of our spending habits, we can avoid the trap of mindless spending and save our money for the things that truly matter. The third is not having an emergency fund. Most people have heard the old saying that it's essential to have an emergency fund equivalent to three to six months of living expenses. In contrast, this may seem like a daunting task. But the importance of having an emergency fund cannot be overstated. Unexpected expense always seem to crop up when we can least afford them. And if you don't have a financial safety net in place, you could find yourself in serious trouble. 
One of the best ways to start building your emergency fund is to set aside a fixed amount of money each month. This can be done by setting up a dedicated savings account or earmarking a specific portion of your paycheck. The key is to make sure that the money you set aside is not easily accessible, as this will help you avoid dipping into it for non-emergency purposes. Over time, you will be surprised by how quickly your emergency fund will grow. While building up an emergency fund may take some time and discipline, it is well worth the effort. Having this financial safety net in place will give you peace of mind and help you weather any unexpected storms that come your way. Fourth, not tracking your money. One of the most significant bad money habits you need to break is not tracking your money. It's important to know where your money is going so that you can make informed decisions about your spending. When you don't follow your money, it's easy to overspend and get into debt. This can lead to serious financial problems down the road. There are many different ways to track your money. You can use a budget, keep a journal, or use a financial tracking app. Find a method that works best for you and stick with it. Not tracking your money is a bad habit that can have significant consequences. Commit to start tracking your finances today. Fifth, do not check your credit card reports. One of the most important things you can do to keep your finances in order is to check your credit card report regularly. This helps you cut any errors or fraudulent activity and it also allows you to monitor your spending. However, far too many people neglect this important task. If you're not in the habit of checking your credit card report, now is the time to break that bad habit. Fortunately, you can take a few simple steps to make sure that you stay on top of your credit report. First, set up a reminder on your calendar or phone so that you remember to check your report regularly. Second, take the time to review your report carefully, looking for any suspicious activity. Finally, if you see anything on your credit report that doesn't look right, don't hesitate to reach out to your credit card company for help. By taking these simple steps, you can help protect yourself from financial problems down the road. Lastly, not sticking to your budget. A budget is an essential tool that can help you track your spending, save money, and reach your financial goals. Unfortunately, Many people have trouble sticking to their budgets. If you regularly overspend or fail to save money, it's essential to take action. There are a few simple steps to break the habit of not sticking to your budget. First, make sure your budget is realistic. If your budget is too restrictive, you're likely to give up altogether. Second, track your progress. Keep a close eye on your spending and saving habits and celebrate each time you stay within your budget. Finally, be prepared for temptation. When you're tempted to overspend, remind yourself of your financial goals and make a conscious effort to stick to your budget. With a little effort and discipline, you can break the habit of not sticking to your budget and start taking control of your finances. Breaking bad money habits can be tricky, but it's possible. With a little bit of effort, you can take control of your finances and start making positive changes that will last a lifetime. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video. If you like this video, do give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Thank you and goodbye.